What is going on guys? So, you've seen this machine perhaps in your favorite coffee shop and in your favorite retail shop and you wonder to yourself, if only I can bring home this baby here, all my problems should be solved. Well, in this video, we're gonna dive deep into it and to see if this espresso machine is suitable for you. Let's go. Now, the Nama Soko name brand needs no introduction. It's an Italian brand that has proven to work and to be reliable. In fact, every one of your, or, or, or at least every other coffee specialty coffee shop in your area would perhaps be using some sort of Lama Zoko machine. And what you have here with me is the Lama Zoko Lineum. Now, this is definitely designed and built for the home use. But don't think about it that way because the internal parts of it, they are all using commercial parts. So let's just first talk about the price. Now this machine would set you back for about 5,000 US dollars or 20,000 ringgit. And what does that get you? It's not, it's no small change. It's a very expensive machine. And you might think to yourself, why do I need to spend that much money? The exterior of it is all made with stainless steel. There's hardly any plastic to it, right? Almost all, 90% uh, of what you see in this machine here, they're all made with stainless steel. And so this gives you the quality and the reliability that you need, right? Let's talk about the features. Now, this Lama Zoko machine is very easy to use because all you have to turn on and off the machine or, or to activate the brew boiler is just this paddle right here. You just turn it on and then you turn it off. In fact, it is actually just a electronic switch inside. But the tactile feel of moving the paddle just gives you that, that you know, just the smoothness of it, right? And that's what catches many people's attention when you talk about the Linear Mini, right? Now, the Linear Mini comes with two light indicators. One is the on-off light or on-off switch light, which is the red color light. And the other one is the blue light, which is the blue light. The blue light indicates when it's a solid blue, it indicates that your machine is ready to be brewed. Now we've done bench testing and so on. Lama Zoko recommends to wait for about 15 minutes from turn on to, uh, to brewing for the machine to be stabilized and to be ready. But in our experiment, in our testing, in our experience, it actually only takes about six to seven minutes for the machine to be ready from uh, cool to heat up, right? To, to, to ready to be boiled. So now let's talk about the capacity. It has two boiler. So it's a dual boiler machine with a main boiler that is a 3.5 liter boiler that is for your steam and for your hot water. And then you have your brew boiler, which is only 170 milliliters uh, for your brew head. Now, 170 milliliters, to put it into context, it's for, like your Coke can. Oh, it's actually smaller than your Coke can. So it's a pretty small boiler, but with that dedicated boiler just for the brew head, it gives you the temperature stability that you're looking for for such an expensive machine. Another thing that this machine comes with, it, it has two gauges. One is the steam boiler gauge, the other is the pool boiler gauge. Also, it comes with a steam one that is a cool hot steam one, meaning you don't have to worry that you're burning your hand because it's double insulated. And so you can steam it and you, you can touch it and you don't need a rubber tip. Now the steam pressure out of this machine is incredible. I would say that it is the most powerful steaming pressure home espresso machine that we've ever used. In fact, it is so powerful that the, the way that we steam the milk on this machine, it's very different from all other machines. So most of the times, the uh, steaming theory is that you have to let in some air, right? Before then, after that, before lifting up the pitcher. For this, because it's so powerful, we don't even need to introduce air in that sense because once you turn on the pressure or the steam, the, the steam would push down the milk and that itself would introduce air in, 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 the, in the picture itself. So just be very careful. That is something that we have to get in use with when we switch from an uh, ordinary home espresso machine to a linear mini. Now the water tank in this machine is also one of the largest we've found for a home espresso machine. It's a two liter water tank, so it's huge. We don't have to refill our, our water tank for almost two weeks, actually, if we consume one or two espresso uh, every day, right? And the drip tray of it is also fairly large, right? It can uh, hold it, uh, hold a large amount of water before you have to uh, toss it up 
and, 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 and to clean it out again. Um, not only that, it is very nice because it is magnetically clipped, right? This machine is designed with that ease in mind where you would put in your drip tray and it clips back automatically. Now, another feature that it has is a, it has a barista light. When you activate that brew paddle, the barista lights will turn on, showing you a clearer image or, or picture of your espresso that you're making, right? Now, let's talk about the app of the machine. Okay, so here you have with me the Lama Zogo app, right? This is applicable for the home use app. What you have first with you is a status app where it will show you the copy boiler temperature and it will tell you and indicate that the steam boiler is on. Now, what you can do is turn off the steam boiler if you just are not making any uh, milk based drinks. You can turn it off for uh, uh, energy efficiency, right? But most of the times we just do not mess with it. One of the things you can do is you can remotely turn off or on your espresso machine through that app also. Now, just bear in mind, in order to do that, the switch on your Lama Zoko Linear Mini machine has to be turned on. Only then it can work. Now, a few things here is that you could go to your settings, you could go to your temperature, and now with this temperature, I could adjust and change my steam or my brew temperature, right? So you could adjust and change it through the app and it will change it accordingly. And you also could change the, the, the units here from degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit. Now, a few things that it gives you too. First, you have the brew boil, uh, pre-brewing. Now, this pre-brewing is very different from a pre-infusion. What pre-brewing does is basically it would just drip a little bit of water, right? Let's turn it on and I'll show it to you. It drip a little bit of water and you can control how long you want it to drip, right? For five seconds and how long you want it to be off, then the full pump would be turned on. But most of the times we just do not use pre-brewing as we don't find it that effective. Now, if your uh, uh, machine is plump in, you could enable this and the machine would know. With you being and with the plump in being enabled, now you could do a actual pre-infusion. Now this is pretty useful from what I've heard, but we haven't um, played around with it too much. Another thing you could do is you could set a auto standby. So what it does is basically it after maybe 60 minutes or 20 minutes, however much you want to set of uh, inactivity, it will basically go into standby mode. And now the thing that we find really useful for home is our auto on and off. In fact, you could turn this on and you could set on which time and which day you want the machine to automatically turn on and automatically turn off. So we've spoken a lot about the features and the positive of the machine. Let's talk about the cons of the machine. Now, it has a few cons that unfortunately some cheaper machines, they have those features, but this Lama Zoko doesn't. One of it is it doesn't have a shot timer. So when you brew your machine, obviously time is pretty important, right? You need to get some sort of scale, right? Like a time war uh, uh, scale like this here um, to be able to time your shot, right? It also doesn't have a volumetric uh, dosage, meaning you cannot set the amount of volume that you want with one press of a button. You have to manually activate the brew pedal and manually deactivate the brew pedal. Now this can get a little bit tiresome for those of you who are turning shots back to back. So let's say for example, a coffee cart you would always have to be on the lookout for your machine and you can't go away for longer than 20, 30 seconds, right? Because you have to be there to, in order to turn off or on your shot, right? Instead of having a volume metric. Now, it also doesn't have a pressure profiling like the Lilith Bianca and other machines where all it does is basically uh, turn on and off. Now, all that being said, it is also one of the positive of this machine because it's so easy, you just turn on the paddle turn off the paddle that's all you need to do in order to pull up consistent quality shots and so because it's so easy to use i think that is what attracts a lot of people that's why you see this machine everywhere too not only is it beautiful not only is it done made with commercial parts but at the same time it's just so easy you only have one switch per actually right to turn on and off your brew that's it the other machines, you have multiple switches, you have multiple uh, uh, stuff to handle with, right? So, a Lama Zoko gives you that ease of use that you're looking for. Now, the last con is the price. 5,000 US dollars or 20,000 ringgit. That's pretty expensive. And it's no small change, not for anyone, right? Unless you, you just have too much money to blow. But, to conclude in this video right here, is that I think this machine is actually suitable for those of you 
who want to take your espresso to the next level and perhaps want to use that machine also for some sort of side hustle or side business. For example, it's perfect, I would say, for a coffee cart, for a small uh, event, a pop-up event. This machine can give you shot after shot, no problems at all, right? You won't face much problems with this machine. It's reliable. It's beautiful to look at. People would see you having that Nama Zoko machine and they would be <laughs> falling in love, right? Because it's a Lama Zoko. And, and, and the best of all, it's easy to use, right? You, there's not much uh, of tinkering you have to think, tinker with, right? And so this machine is suitable for people within that spectrum, right? But if you are looking to play with pressure profiling or to tinker more with your espresso brew pressure, temperature, and so on, well, this machine perhaps it four shots of that, right? It doesn't allow you to switch uh, back and forth or in the middle of, 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 of your uh, pulling your shot, right? What this machine is designed for is for those of you who want a beautiful machine at home, want a beautiful machine for your site hustle, and at the same time know that it's reliable and consistent, well, this Lama Zoko Linear Money is definitely one of the best espresso machine at home. But given the price tag, the question for you is, would you buy this machine? Comment down in the section below and let me know if you have this machine or want to buy this machine. What is your experience like? And we would like to hear from you and to see what you think about the Linear Mini. Thank you for seeing this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.